Many uh, of you over the years have asked me about different types of seacocks. I quite like the True Design. I also like the Four Spar Marillon. Both of them are very similar. So today I'm going to show you uh, a load of different bits and pieces about how you should be fitting these things, along with some of the things that other people don't talk about, which is the do not do's. So very first of all, if you are going to fit this through a hull, anything is going to be better than one of these old DZR valves, which fails. You know, and, and this is a classic one where it's failed on the skin fitting. That's on one of my previous YouTubes. So the first thing you do is, where you're going to sight it is really important because many boats have a core. So if you're drilling through a core, like we've just done here, where we've got basically a balsa core hull, it's really important to remove the inner core. So it's, it's, a, it's a simple thing to do with using a core drill from one side and then the other to take out the hole and then do the, the core the other side. But it's important then that this is all properly sealed off uh, so with, with laminate, really, before you start reassembling. Now, a lot of people like using plywood rings. I'll be honest with you, until about 10 years ago, I used to like using plywood, but the plywood quality these days is pretty rubbish unless you're getting really tidy marine ply. And if you are going to use a plywood ring, make sure you seriously epoxy it first. I've come across this stuff, which is called stock board, which is made in the UK here. You can buy it from builders merchants and uh, farm supplies and it's reconstituted um, black black wrap off bales it's about 40 quid a sheet and uh, you can let, make loads of these so i've basically got that to go in there i'm not using mastic on this i'm doing this as a dry run but obviously all of this you need a good quality like sigaflex uh, to do it so the first thing i'm going to do is the skin fitting comes on the outside i'm using a normal uh, skin fitting rather than uh, a recessed one be very careful with recessed ones, especially if the laminate is quite thin like you've got here because as soon as you start putting a countersunk on the outside to make a nice flush seacock it ain't going to um, have anything to go against. So that's the first thing. Then you've got your ring which needs to come on and then obviously you've got the lock washer, lock nut. Now again, I've read and I've seen one or two YouTubes out there which are wrong uh, about um, putting it all together with Sikaflex and then Tight, going back and tightening it up 24 hours later. I've spoken to the manufacturers and the importers in the UK and they say that is not a good idea. So once you've got this all siliconed up and beautifully finished, that's where it should finish, like that. But nice and tight. Yes, put a set of Stilsons on it, but don't go mad. There is a little recess here to put a, a large plate on the outside to hold it, but generally that's it. The next thing you've got to be aware of is a lot of people I've seen fit an elbow. You should never fit an elbow before the valve. Now, in the UK, as long as it's not in a vulnerable area, you can put the valve straight on. One thing I ought to tell you is the fact that from an engineering point of view, the diameter of this is 38 mil, so you should never have more than 38 mil sticking up here from a leverage point of view. One to one and a half times absolute maximum. But obviously you need enough threads, so just check the depth of thread before you cut it off. Once you put that on, again using uh, a Sikaflex, you can either have the option of using the collar, uh, which supports it, which if you guys are listening in the USA or in um, New Zealand, I understand it's almost compulsory by the, by the um, associations out there. But I'm going to do this this way just to show you what goes on. But So basically you fit this on, which is nice and simple. Again, don't be shy on the Sikaflex. You can then have the options of an elbow to a filter. They even do just a straightforward hose. But again, whatever you're doing, make sure it's properly supported. And they even do like a matrix system. And again, this one of the downfalls I've noticed with this matrix system is with all the threads, it doesn't always quite line up. So you've got to be very careful how you do all of that. And there's even a clear clearer here, which again, if you were going to do this on the top, it would be quite sensible to put the clearer there. But personally, I would put a strainer in the system from the valve if you're going up to a matrix. So that is a really quick, simple explanation of how these should go together. If you are going to use the collar, just be very aware that they are quite awkward in small areas, in restricted areas. So actually fit this on, let's get it on the right way up, shall we? Get that on and then wind this down into it. It makes it quite bulky, but as I say, it's, it's quite important uh, in the USA in particular where it's, it's the requirement 
and so that's what you're basically getting and it does make it a, a safer fitting um, if it's going to be in an area where it's going to get loaded and it clearly says on it it's a load bearing collar anyway i hope you find that useful and i hope all those people who've asked me about it are interested both these and the force bar marilons have got to be a lot better than having one of these dreadful dzr things or bar spittings through your hull have a great season